Hey YouTube, just wanted to show how well the ground array is doing. So far today, we've had pretty much clouds up until around 11 o'clock today. Um, it's about 1 o'clock now. And as you see the ground array, putting out beautiful. So far this has hit a high today, uh, close to about 4,500 watts, um, which isn't bad out of 4,200 watts for the panels. So, so far this is actually performing beautifully. This is the Classic 200. This right here is the Classic 250. This is running the 12 320s on the roof. Um, as you see when this one hits, you know, a little higher than the 58 amps, it'll actually reach its limit as you see right there, which reduces it. Um, the roof array is putting out pretty decent. Um, obviously these aren't fully optimized, so the 250 works good. Personally, I think in the future, I'm going to change this one out to another 200. Um, this one here, this is running the 12 350 watt panels. And I've hit like well over 70 amps. And like I said, I was at 4,500 watts and hasn't even attempted to hit its limit on this thing. So as you see, it's working absolutely beautiful today. Right now, we're hitting a little bit of clouds again. Um, so it's putting it down about 38. But again, it's 4,200 watts for the panels. Um, I don't even have right now the ground array tipped up for winter sun so one of my next videos is going to be taking that ground array apart building an adjustable rack and setting it so I can easily adjust it for the winter sun and drop it down for the summer sun so I'll be doing a full video on that from start to finish when we do that project hopefully another month or two um, but as you see this thing is performing beautifully um, so yeah doing pretty good so far you know as far as our uh, kilowatt hours batteries fully charged the inverter obviously a generator is not on um, so you'll see again once it goes back to it nothing coming in from the generator and that's showing the load right now that's more than half the house so let's go outside and I will show you the uh, the array in the Sun once again all right, so we're coming outside. As you see, now we're finally in full sun early today. We've got awesome morning clouds. clouds. So there's our sun, and as you see, it's laying on the panel beautifully. So when I actually set this up, obviously I did the paint can, the paint lid trick with cardboard um, before I put this rack in, set it. Um, mainly I said it in the summertime, you know, I know I should have done it in the winter, but it's, well, Either way I went ahead and set it got the shadow around the paint cap just perfect And then I raised it just a little bit to kind of go for the winter and sun But now our new plan is um, As soon as the weather starts to break a little bit hopefully about another month or two we start getting 50 degree days I'm gonna separate this right here I'm gonna build a wood frame to go underneath the panels over here I'm gonna use the uh, snap and rack rails that I got free from a job because you know now I'm doing uh, solar pretty much for my job and then I'm gonna install the panels in the snap and rack and have the back side where I can adjust it up get my winter Sun and then summertime I can just lower it back down do my summer Sun and I'm gonna do it like I said in two sections so I can raise one section and then raise the other so somebody's not trying to lift this whole unit in one shot we get a ton of wind from the valley so another updated you know video is going to be when we put in probably a wind turbine somewhere over in here that way it doesn't have any of the turbulence from the trees or anything else um, that should work beautifully for nighttime so that's about it for the video today we'll walk back in I'll take a look at the numbers again show you what the array is producing and that'll be it for today so let's go inside all right so we're back in so yeah every time we hit a little bit of cloud out there obviously it drops it down some um, yeah I was actually quite impressed though earlier to see this at uh, it was like 44 uh, 160 watts it was pulling in like I said with 3200 watts for the panels it's can't be any happier than that I'll attach pictures at the end of this video so make sure you hang out to the end I'll show you the pictures of the readings on here and you've already seen this on video like I said it works beautifully but you'll see it it hits its amp limit 
um, quite a bit. So this will be a change out. I would say for the most people, if you're going to run, um, you know, 12, 350 watt panels, 12, even if you go 360 watt panels, the Midnight Classic, the 200, will do you beautifully. You won't have any issues. Um, haven't had any problems out of it. I just don't like how it reached its limit so much faster. So, but either way, can't complain. Love the Midnight Solar. Love dealing with the company. Um, Todd at Midnight Solar again. You have any questions whatsoever, I swear that man, he will answer your messages just like that and very informative, um, step by step. I feel bad for the amount of emails that I've sent him with some questions, but he has walked me through everything. So uh, if you have any questions, Todd, Midnight Solar, you know, he will absolutely help you out. So that's it for the video today. Um, like I said, stay tuned for some more upcoming videos. And again, if you have any questions on the system, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching. Please definitely like, subscribe, and share. I want to try and get more videos out, which will, you know, give me the drive to want to do more and more and more as far as from updating it to showing you the insides and outs to eventually when we change over all the lead acid batteries and we're going to go to, you know, a, a power rack and we're going to probably go to LifePo batteries. That's going to be an update, you know, in the future. So, obviously, the more people who seem to have an interest in this and like this, the more videos I'll make. Um... Don't be scared. Start jumping into your solar. Watch videos. Um, there's a lot of helpful videos out there. A lot of people know, you know a lot about their solar. I will show everything that I've learned through this whole entire thing. One of the biggest things is don't go cheap on your wires. Make sure you get the right gauge wire for everything. Um, I upgrade it you know, to, I believe this is the uh, four gauge wire you know, for the inverter and runs through a 250 amp breaker. Um, fuse, sorry, and the wires running everything through the house. I mean, that thing stays cool as can be. A lot of people like to knock the cutoffs and these breakers here. So far, honestly, they've worked fine. Haven't had an issue out of them. Um, yeah, all the wires. So there's no resistance through here whatsoever to the point where it's causing anything to get warm. Anyway. Enough of my rambling. I'll do more videos in the future. But yes, please like, subscribe, and share. And just in case anybody wonders, so far on a sunny day from when the sun comes out from, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock and it actually starts producing to the end of the day, so far we've hit just about 40 kilowatt hours um, between the two arrays so far. So it's worked, you know, phenomenal as far as what we need. And I'm getting ready to actually do a video, hopefully in the next coming couple weeks, where I'm going to go ahead and utilize the internal MPPT controller that's inside this inverter. We're going to wire up some panels. Uh, they're probably going to be maybe 215 watt panels possibly, but I'm going to wire them up into the charge controller that's in here and tie everything in and see how well the charge controller inside the unit actually works. Again, couldn't be any happier with this 12,000 watt inverter. Um, this thing runs the house and everything we need from washers, dryers, 150 foot, um, you know, deep uh, the well pump, um, freezers, refrigerators, lights, uh, everything. Haven't had a single issue. I don't think we've had this inverter up, not even so far, even with the wash machine and everything running during the daytime. I don't think we've even hit 50%. So, if you want a good inverter to start with, go with the 12,000 watt. You know, it's like 2,700 bucks, but it is absolutely money well spent. So anyway, yes, like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box. Thanks a lot.